back to the blackbird shed. Um, sorry, it's been a couple of weeks, I think, since I, I last put a video out. I'm just going to give you a bit of an update of what's going on at the moment. So, um, obviously, we're coming to the end of the breeding season now. So, um, just got two chicks, two young, still left in, uh, in with their parents, and that's these two in here. So, it's a nice bird there, dark one. A little bit of light on the wings. Nice bird, I like that. And uh, that's its sibling, the uh, yellow one there. Another nice bird. And um, this is the parents which do prov provide me with a cinnamon every now and then. So it's got a brown bird that. So I'm hoping it's not going to be too green, but I don't really know. We'll see. It's a nice bird. Um, here we got the. Uh, Six Irish fancies with um, the other ones from the third round. Quite a lot of heavy molt going on in this one down here. This bird here you can see has a lot of feathers off the back and so has a few others. The birds are pecking them off. But he doesn't seem too distressed so I think we'll leave them in there. I'm tempted to possibly move them. That one there's got the same issue. A few feathers missing off the back there. And these two cages, I think there's uh, 10 in the one cage, 11 in the other. And over here we've still got the 25 birds from the first round. Some of these, the, uh, the colour feeding is bringing out the colours quite a bit actually. And these, some of these are carrying red factor. Uh, this two yellow birds which are like a frost colour uh, they're just in the middle of a just in the middle of a bath at the moment so maybe we'll get some footage of that in a minute I think anything going on with this flight build at the moment like I said previously I'm doing the in something inside the house at the moment so my spare time has been to do that and um, we will uh, We'll get back to doing this when I get a spare moment. Got two days off in a row shortly. I might get a moment to just do a little bit of work on that, we'll see. Um, there's the uh, cock golden finch with the orange head. And his, uh, his, his babies are really looking good now. There's the mother at the back there. Uh, if we go outside, I'll show you the um, the rest of them, some really nice colours. Most of them are, um, most of the, well, the cocks are redheads, and the uh, a lot of the hens are blackhead. Let's go and have a look. Perhaps if we just look through this bit here, there's one of them there. He hasn't really coloured up properly yet. He's from the second round, but there's one from the first round over there. Absolutely gorgeous bird, and that one's got a quite a light chest, not as purple as the uh, as the father. Almost like a pinkish violet colour. And over there we've got another one from that's from the third round. Looks like that's going to be a cock. And the other ones down there. There's a lovely hen down there. Really nice find black head and that's from the second round that's well developed and there is the other cock red head with a more purple breast a bit more normal that one next to that is another hen you can just about see her there and she's got the black head with a bit of red on it like the mother i'll probably move her on i do prefer the uh, pure black head here we've got the uh, Half inch next to a spice finch. There seems to be quite a bit of uh, movement in some of the nests, but as of yet, no new eggs or chicks. Look at that gorgeous bird there. Oh, I'll be moving him on, I think. He's a lovely bird. And um, I'll be keeping the one with the slightly lighter 
chest. Um, I will be after some new ones, hopefully. There's the um, Indian silver bills, the grey Indian silver bills. Two cocks, um, nothing going on there. So, if I could get some hens, and I could guarantee there were hens, I would get some more of those. But all I can seem to get is cocks. Right. There we go, there's the cutthroats up there. Doing well. There they are. Now they've been looking at going into a nest. But you never know. We might get something out of those now. If they do, I'm going to try and get them into a different nest. There's a box here actually. No, no eggs in there. And this nest here is a lovely nest. Made out of one of those things you put your nuts in. Let's have a look. Normally there's nothing in here. I think it's just used as a roosting pot. Ah, this time we have got eggs. One, two. There's at least four eggs in there. Let's see if I can see them. Yeah, there we go. Hmm. Well, it looks like three, but I thought I counted four. Let's get one out and we'll see if we can work out what they are. One, two, yeah, there's only three. Well, first of all, they're fairly cold. There's only three, so it could be that they've just not started sitting yet. And there, I think they are cutthroat eggs. Because they're going to... They're quite, um, quite rounded, not quite so long. And they're a little bit bigger than the uh, spice finch eggs. So, here's the end of the, of the breeding season for canaries anyway. So these will be um, probably less than a week and I'll be removing those, those chicks from there. And, the uh, cock will go into a separate cage, the hen will go along the aviary with the rest. Um, then I've got to start thinking about what we're doing now. The season's been very successful with numbers. Um, I've got, and got rings on 50 birds, 50 canaries. And that's from, um, from basically from one, two, three. Eight cages, nine cages, but one um, one pair with brother and sister. I didn't breed from those, so real pairs. And they were a foster pair, so let's call it nine. So between eight and nine pairs of birds, I managed to produce fifty birds, which is a lot now. That could be seen as being good. Um, it's good as a success rate, but it brings problems with it now. Obviously, I've got a lot of birds to get rid of. Um, I don't breed them just to get rid of them, I don't breed them to sell, but obviously I'll be able to trade those, well, sell those to a pet shop or to whatever, and um, then that money can be invested in seed for, uh, for more birds. That's my plan anyway. But I think next year I'm going to reduce the amount of pairs that I've got. It is a lot of work breeding canaries and there's a lot of work feeding and I've been getting through so much seed I do need to reduce the amount and perhaps concentrate more on not the quality per se but the, the bird that I'm looking for so what I'm it's the third season fourth season this, 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 this year so I've got I've got to think about what I'm going to do going forward um, even though the next canary season is starting in April, I suppose, and it's August now. It's a good sort of five, six months away. Now is the time to start thinking about what's going on next year. So I've decided at the moment, and this might not happen because it all depends on what I can get, but I've decided that I really enjoy the Irish fancy. So I'm going to um, probably keep two of the young birds from the Irish fancies, definitely, and maybe three 
it depends on and then if I to get three other birds to go with them so that I'm bringing new blood into the into the, the stud um, I'll keep the two that two parents which we've been successful this year because they've uh, they produced quite a lot of different colors this one's from that probably see three of the, the chicks sell the rest and we're looking out for some to replace those so I can set up some pairs and uh, this may change so we put it on record now and it may change who knows it would be nice to either set up these perhaps these three cages for Irish fancies maybe these three cages I don't know um, and then I do want to keep the sort of colour birds that I've got the sort of, but I want to try and develop this cinnamon line which we have had off this pair just a good little project really so I might just keep three pairs next season um, five Irish fancies or I might go with four pairs and three Irish fancies but I, I want to run six or seven pairs in canaries in total and then on that really because um, I might have to keep a couple of spare hens um, we'll see uh, also I want to concentrate a lot more on these golden finches I really do like them and uh, they breed, they've bred really well for me this year I love the fact that they change colours from once they, 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 they hatch and they fledge and they change colour and um, you can tell which is a cock and which is a hen and like that so I think it's just a really nice bird and um, I think I can sell those for more than I can sell the canaries so it, the ones that I've got have been really good quality birds so far so and um, hopefully that will be them all different times of the year we'll see but, uh, and I want to get some of the other finches the other foreign finches to breed the cutthroats Star finches, sp um, spice finches, and um, I mean I've got the new cages down here. I'll have an extra couple of cages. I can do that. So, but I need to get rid of a lot of birds. There's a lot of birds to get rid of. Uh, whether we've got any of the any of the auctions coming up uh, on a day that I can go, I can take some to an auction. I can obviously take some to pet shops. Um, I don't think it's going to be any problem to get rid of um, any spare Irish fancies. Um, but my local one will take those. Some of these other canaries, once they're malted, I can probably move on some of those. Um, obviously, the red factors, the ones that have got a red factor in these, will be fairly popular, I should think. And then other ones I might only get seven or eight quid for them. But it will allow me to reinvest that in other birds. And we'll see, yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, sorry, the video is just basically an update. Um, no massive news really. Um, blues coming on um, a bit more, a bit more, a bit more friendly. There he is. He's uh, not started talking yet. I'm not expecting that for years, even if he does talk. Let's uh, get a bit of focus on him. He, is. he seems a bit more interactive with me now that his, uh, his siblings have gone and his parents have gone. Mm -hmm. uh, I do try talking to him, and I don't give him some of the word I'm saying. Um, yeah. yeah, so thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in, and uh, um, if you do like the videos, please please hit the like button, that'd be great. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, talking about subscriptions, um, thank you for everybody that has subscribed. Um, I've now got over 300 subscriptions, um, which I'm chuffed with. Um, so thanks very much for doing that. Uh, any comments, I'll try and get back to you or any advice. And um, thanks again for watching, and I'll try and get a video out a bit sooner next time. Um, I hope you can get a bit more movement on this uh, this job I'm in the middle of doing again. So thank you. Take care. Bye.